cos x x as it is and the differentiation of the cortex that is nothing but minus cos x square x and finally bracket that is complete now again we want to just more simplify this value the dv by dx variety as it is equal to 1 upon under 2 as it is here cortex here again cortex and minus cos x x the result that is cot square write cos x as it is and write minus sign before so result that is minus cot square cos x x then write plus sign as it is here cos x x and again cos x square x the result that is minus cos x cube x so and final bracket that is complete we can again more simplify and take a common cos x x common but if we take this is a equation number 2 so ultimately we want to find the dy by dx so we can write dy by dx is equal to du by dx plus dv by dx this is nothing but combine of our two result the result of the du by dx that we call already as a equation number one that is nothing but cos x minus sin x so du by dx the result that is cos x minus sin x and then plus right as it is and the result of the dv by dx that is nothing but we call as equation number two so write this whole term as it is that is plus one upon under root two and in bracket so write here minus cot square x into cos x this plus minus that is minus finally cos cube x so this is our final result now we move to our next question our next question that is y equal to log in bracket x plus under root of x square plus a square so first of all we write it y equal to log in bracket x plus under root of x square plus a square so and we want to find the dy by dx and just check it this is only one term no any multiplication rule is applied at present because log theta or we can say log x or log a so now we want to find out the differentiation that is d y by dx so we can write in this way the differentiation we can take this old term as a x the differentiation of the log x that is nothing but we can write differentiation of log x we can say 1 upon x so we can write differentiation of that present old term assume as a x then the result that is 1 upon x and this is assume value we can write here as it is that is 1 upon x that is at present x plus under root of x square plus a square now finally we want to assume values differentiation that is in multiply with result that is d by dx this value differentiation that is remaining that is x plus square root of x square plus a square now again write this term as it is that is equal to x plus square root of x square plus a square and the differentiation of the this term that is already multiplied so write multiply in bracket first differentiation with respect to x and value that is x so differentiation of x that is 1 plus 
under root of x square plus a square that we at present assume as a x so under root of x differentiation that is 1 upon 2 under root of x so this under root of x assume value x square plus x square right as it is so we can say under root of x differentiation that is 1 upon 2 under root of x so assume value already multiply with the result that is multiply with d by dx the assume value that is x square plus a square now again we want to more simplify this term because this first term we can write as it is so we can write equal to 1 upon x plus under root of x square plus a square as it is multiply this one write as it is plus sign as it is 1 upon 2 under root of x square plus a square right as it is and the remaining value that is d by dx of x square plus a square so differentiation of the x square that is nothing but 2x with multiply sign put as it is 2x and plus differentiation of a square that is 0 and complete the bracket now we want to again more simplify is equal to sign as it is so we can write x plus square root of x square plus a square multiply result as it is in bracket 1 as it is plus sign as it is just this 2x we can write it present here then this 2 and these two are finally cancel out and the result that is x upon right denominator value as it is that is under root of x square plus a square now again we want to simplify the second one multiplication this is nothing but only one and no any denominator we at present assume as a one and if you take the lcm then the result that is under root of x square plus a square multiply with 1. So, write first term as it is that is 1 upon x plus under root of x square plus a square multiply sign 1 multiplies with under root of x square plus a square we can write under root of x square plus a square plus sign as it is x value as it is so we can write x but divide by take lcm that is divide by same value that is under root of x square plus x square now just assume or this first term is a numerator and here the denominator first term here x plus under root of x square plus a square same value under root of x square plus a square plus x so finally this term and this term are cancel out and only remaining value that is 1 multiply with under root of x square plus a square so we can write 1 multiply sign no any values that is 1 and divide under root of x square plus a square so this is finally a, we can go to the result and we can say this is answer the result that is 1 upon under root of x square plus a square now we move to our next sum the next sum that is y equal to under root all under root of a sin square x plus b cos square x so first of all we write y is equal to all under root of a sin square x plus b cos square x and we want to find the dy by dx so dy by dx equal to under root of x at present assume this whole term is a x 
the differentiation of the under root of x that is 1 upon 2 under root of x. So, in this way we can write 1 upon 2 under root of x. So, we can write a sin square x plus b cos square x and whatever value that we assume that is nothing but multiply and take the differentiation that is a sin square x plus b cos square x. So, we can write a sin square x plus b cos square x. Now, again write this term as it is. So, we can say dy by dx equal to write 1 upon 2 as it is or under root of 1 into sin square x plus b cos square x as it is it is under root of a sin square x plus b cos square x. Now, we want to simplify the differentiation of the a sin square x. So, here differentiation of the a sin square x and then we want to find out the differentiation of the b cos square x. The differentiation of the a sin square x the result that is a is a constant and sin square x differentiation that is nothing but power value that is write first that is 2 and write same value 2 sin x. So, this is nothing but x square differentiation that is 2 x write in this way that is 2 sin x and multiply the assume value that is sin x. So, we want to take the differentiation again sin x. So, sin square x differentiation we can take in this way that is 2 sin x and differentiation of the sin x because here sin x is a assume value plus b cos square x differentiation that is nothing but 2 cos x and assume value that is cos x. So, again multiplication with differentiation of the cos x. Now, again we want to simplify our numerator whole term. So, we can write in this way dy by dx equal to write 1 upon 2 as it is divide by under root of a sin square x plus b cos square x write as it is a sin square x plus b cos square x. So, we can write as it is a value at present as it is and 2 sin x and differentiation of the sin x that is nothing but cos x. So, we can write 2 sin x into cos x bracket complete. So, whole value that is multiply with a. Now, write plus sign b value as it is and finally, we want to find the 2 cos x. So, 2 cos x value that is as it is, but differentiation of the cos x that is nothing but minus sin x. So, again we want to simplify our numerator term. So, we can write in this way here dy by dx equal to write the denominator term as it is that is 2 under root of a sin square x plus b cos square x that is 2 under root of a sin square x plus b cos square x write here a into 2 sin x cos x. So, we can say this is the 2 sin x cos x. So, sin 2 x. So, here a sin 2 x plus b right plus b 2 cos x minus sin x. So, at present assume 2 sin x cos x and then minus sin. So, again here sin 2 x and write with minus 1 because here minus sin x. So, ultimately minus b sin 2 x. So, this minus 1 multiply here. So, minus b sin 2 x. 
now again just look at here here first term here second term both the term contain sin 2x so we want to take a common sin 2x value so we can write the dy by dx as it is so dy by dx equal to write the denominator value that is 2 square root of a sin square x plus b cos square x as it is and just take a common of the sin 2x so sin 2x that is common the remaining value of the first one that is only a and the remaining value for the second one that is b into minus 1 the result that is minus b so ultimately this is the our final answer so dy by dx of the our sum that is nothing but sin 2x into a minus b upon 2 under root of a sin square x plus b cos square x now we move to our next question our next question that is y is equal to sin square in bracket 2x upon 1 plus 10 square x so first of all we write it our question that is y equal to sin inverse in bracket 2x upon 1 plus x square so if we know the trigonometric rule so this is the looking like the expression of the 2x upon 1 plus 10x suppose we assume x is equal to 10x or we can say here x so just another assume that is theta we assume x is equal to 10 theta so suppose we want to simplify then here becomes 2 10 theta upon 1 plus 10 square theta so just 2x upon 1 plus x square that is 2 write x as a 10 theta upon 1 plus x square the result